afternoon. Good to see you all. Yeah, I'm here really to talk about design efficiency and the value of design. Uh, uh, more important, I, want, I don't think it really is registering at the moment on the Indian retail landscape. There's been a lot of talk about the infrastructure, but not a lot of talk about design. So this morning I want to engage your right side of your brain, the, the emotional side, and park, if you can, the, um, the, the rational thinking side of the left side of the brain. Uh, and I'm here to champion design, not necessarily to talk about me or my company, but the design fraternity and, and the benefits that can do and the values that, that design can bring to a, to a retail concept. I think, um, I think it's an extremely interesting time for, for us in this emerging market here in India. It's, uh, I mean, you guys, some, they say that you guys are, are 20 years behind. I'm not sure I really believe that, but it's not going to take you 20 years to catch up. Certainly five years, we've heard a lot of talk this morning about how that in some cases you're already leading, in other cases you're, you've got all that great opportunity to leapfrog over the back of a lot of the, the work that we have done in the mature markets. And I think India is in the middle of a moment, and it's a really rare thing. You know, the next couple of years are going to be incredibly interesting here in India. And I think for people like myself, who, who are a long-standing retail designer, it's an incredibly interesting moment to witness. So if you look about what is design, what's design all about? You know, often asked to explain what design is, you know, particularly here in India, and it's a broad church, you know. There's product design, you've got packaging, print, visual merchandising, store design. You know, I, I want to just focus a little bit on, on retail as it's a retail conference and, and, and really kind of talk to you a bit about what retail design is from, from, from my perspective, from our perspective. So, branding and, and retail design. This look about inside out to outside in. So, I, I just want to touch on the story about where retail design comes. It might be useful for some of you kind of younger guys, some of you guys that know it all, it's probably, you know those things, but it's an interesting kind of snapshot to see where retail design really developed in those days when corporate identity and branding were emerging. So if we have a look at that, and I'm going to show you a little uh, diagram here. I haven't got many diagrams to show you. Just to kind of get an understanding of the landscape. And this is probably a model that's about 20 years old maybe, you know, where corporate identity was coming from a very much a brand in hand, you know, moving through the environment to collaterals and to how you would portray that as a tone of voice, your tonality, and then out into the physical elements, which might not necessarily be a stall, but could be something to do with a press ad or a campaign. So it's very much this moving through, but from a brand perspective that's normally print-based, logo-based, identity-based. So to highlight that a little bit, I'll just show you an example of Philips. Philips, you know, everything starts from a logo, you know, iconic mark. Their brand intention is all based on that mark. They've uh, They've been doing some rework. They reworked the mark and also the structure of the brand in 2004. And it's a typical kind of application of how that brand moves from brand in hand out through the domains and into the physicalities. 